Hi everybody, I'm Teddy Tillahan and I'm here at the Emerson Pressure Relief Valve Flow Lab in El Campo, Texas. Today, I'm going to be going over how adjusting the blowdown of an Anderson Greenwood 80 series valve can mitigate the impact of non-recoverable inlet pressure losses on the operation of the valve. One of the largest benefits of using a pressure relief valve over a device such as a rupture disc or braking pin is that it reseats at the conclusion of the overpressure event. The percentage difference between the valve's set pressure and the reseat pressure is called blowdown. The Anish and Greenwood 80 series is a snap acting direct spring operated pressure relief valve with a soft seat design that provides leak type performance up to 95% of set pressure. The type 83 I have here also features an external blowdown adjustment screw that allows for the precise tuning of reseat pressure without affecting the valve's set pressure. This particular valve has been preset at 250 PSI and adjusted for a 10% blowdown. In other words, the valve will close at 225 PSI. Just to make sure everything is set up correctly, I'm going to increase the inlet pressure to ensure the valve opens at 250 PSI plus or minus 3%. At this pressure, 3% is the ASME Section 8 set pressure tolerance. I also want to take note when the valve reseats and calculate my blowdown. Let's demonstrate that for you. As you saw from the pressure gauge, the valve opened at 250 PSI and reclosed at 225 PSI, giving us the expected 10% blowdown. To demonstrate the importance of an adjustable blowdown, I will now force this valve to chatter by simulating severe inlet line loss. First, I want to briefly explain these two concepts. Non-recoverable inlet line loss is the reduction of pressure at the valve inlet during flow. This pressure loss is most often caused by upstream isolation valves and complex or undersized piping. As these losses only occur during valve operation, they don't affect the valve set pressure, but do impact stability, capacity, and blowdown. Rapid cycling is a common type of instability in pressure relief valves. Rapid cycling can be caused by a number of things, but inlet line losses are a common culprit. It is extremely damaging to a pressure relief valve and can severely reduce a valve's reliability and effective capacity. Before I start this demonstration, recall that this valve is set at 250 PSI and its blowdown is set to 10%. As we open the valve, I will gradually start to close this ball valve to the point where the inlet losses become high enough to cause the valve to begin chattering. Let's do that demonstration for you. What I did to eliminate the chatter was lengthen the valve's blowdown to a value greater than the inlet line losses created by the partially closed ball valve. One advantage of the Anderson Greenwood 80 series valve is the external blowdown adjustment. Unlike other adjustable blowdown valves, I did not have to remove the valve from service or reach into the outlet of the valve to adjust a ring setting. So let's pop this valve one more time to show that my adjustment didn't affect the 250 PSI set pressure of the valve, but now the valve will open up once and then close back down once without chatter. There we go. We opened up once and closed down once. Now let's see how much inlet line losses we were able to overcome and what our new blowdown setting is by opening the ball valve and rechecking the receipt pressure. It looks like our new blowdown is 20%, which means our partially closed ball valve was creating about an extra 10% inlet line loss. Inlet line losses can be difficult to deal with, but using a valve with an adjustable blowdown can be a much more affordable option when compared with repiping the installation. The key here is to ensure the blowdown of the valve is longer than the inlet line losses. Just remember that inlet line losses reduce the capacity of the valve, even when the valve is in a stable operation. 
so make sure you consider this during sizing. Thanks for watching, and for more information on the Anderson Greenwood 80 Series pressure relief valves, look for the links in the description below. Take care.